Hey guys, what's going on? Cody Gertz here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about e-commerce, okay? Um, how to set up a Shopify store and add products from AliExpress into your Shopify store, okay? Now if you're on this video, I'm assuming that you already have a Shopify store for one and for two, you already know about AliExpress, okay? That's, I'm going to assume that, okay? And since the fact that you're on this video, I'm going to assume those two things, okay? So first of all, E-commerce is a genius business model, okay? My Shopify store doesn't cost me anything per month, okay? Besides advertising spend. I'm just talking about the cost of your Shopify store. This, I, I pay for it yearly, okay? And I think it was like $2.29 or something. I have the Shopify basic account. Literally doesn't cost me anything per month, okay? So today we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you how to take AliExpress products and putting them straight into your Shopify store. Okay, but we're going to do it custom. Okay, we're not going to use apps like Oberlo or Expressify um, or whatever else apps are out there. We're not going to use those apps because why? Because number one, we need it to be custom to us. Okay, you're selling your brand here. Okay, you don't want the same description as AliExpress because other e-commerce stores that know how to do this already already have those same descriptions and those same titles and everything. Okay, so I wanna make this just a little bit more custom. If you guys understand how to drive traffic, it's not really gonna matter what your title or your description is, okay? So, first of all, this is the back office of my Shopify store called The Adventure Outlet. You guys can check it out, shopyouradventure.com, okay? And what we do is we sell outdoor apparel products, okay? And recently, I've decided to add bike products in there, okay? So we're gonna have our own page called The Bike Shop, okay? And in this page, we're gonna be adding helmets and pedals and you know different bike apparel and stuff like that, okay? Uh, so today I'm gonna show you how to add a helmet, okay, from AliExpress. So what we're gonna do is I have a couple windows opened up here, and this is the helmet that we're going to be adding, okay? Now this is coming from China, so it does have quite a bit of a shipping day on it. I think it's 12 to 20, let's see. 12 to 20 days, but it's uh, like only 45 cents for uh, shipping, okay? I'm not sure if they have a free shipping item on this one. Um, standard shipping is $2, so 45 cents for shipping is basically free, okay? So what I'm going to do is I've been naming, I've been putting other helmets in to my store as well, okay? I have one called the Ultralight. This one's going to be the Ultralight 2.0, okay? So that's actually what I'm going to call it. So let's go ahead and give it a name, Ultralight 2.0. Okay, now in the description, we can just come up with something off the top of our head. Okay, this one's going to be, let's see, helmet, off-road, super mountain bike. Okay, and uh, actually, let's do this. Um, let's just go to products. Yeah, we'll leave the page. We'll come right back to it. I want to see what my description was for uh, my other ultralight. Okay, you guys are gonna, I mean, you're getting this live. I, I haven't, you know, I haven't done anything pre this. So um, with this ultralight structure, I'm actually gonna take this description and I'm just gonna alter it just a little bit, okay? So now we go back to products and we'll hit add new. Okay, add product. Okay, we're gonna call this ultralight uh, 2.0. Okay, we're going to paste the description and then we'll just reword it just a little bit. Okay, um, I'm going to say, say hello to uh, the Ultralight 2.0. Okay, this lightweight structure and sporty look, the Ultralight 2.0 makes for the perfect free ride helmet. A small visor, comfortable interior, and breathable design sets the bar high for helmets in its class. Um, the Ultralight 2.0 is designed to be even lighter, even uh, lighter than its first generation. Uh, ultralight. Mm, can't spell. Okay, and then we're going to say 0.5 pounds total weight. Okay, now how do I know that? So we're going to go back to the products page. 
And we're going to scroll down here. Um, and let's see where I found that at. 280 grams. So if we go back here and we go to 280 grams to pound, which is 0 0.6, okay? So uh, 290 was the ultralight, which is 0 0.63. Um, and then 280 grams is 0 0.61. Okay, so I guess it's not 0 0.5 pounds, but um, let's see. We're do So we're going to say 0 0.6 pounds, 0 0.61 pounds, okay? Total weight. Best use for MTB and road cycling, okay? You guys are going to do the same exact thing with your Shopify store. Come up with a name for it. Do a custom description, okay? Make it sound good, professional, okay? And then we're going to go add images, all right? Now, I know that there's a better way to do all of this. You guys are saying, gosh, this takes so much time, okay? But it's quality work, okay? When you have quality work, you will get sales out of it because people can tell that you spent time on it, okay? So we're going to go back. And now we're going to grab our images, okay? Normally what I do is I will um, save this one for last. This color that has all the different angles, I'm going to save that one for last, okay? So um, I'm going to do this. We're going to just go screenshot. If you have a Mac, this is perfect for this, okay? You can simply just screenshot each and every one of these, okay? Sorry, this might take a little longer. I'll speed it up. Okay, so now that we have all of our pictures, okay, we're gonna come over here and get the different angles, okay? So your customers can see the front, each side of the helmet, the front and the back, okay? So I'm gonna take um, a picture like this so they can see the side and the back. So a kind of a, you're killing two birds with one stone here, okay? And then um, I like to get an inside of the product too. So whatever product that you're selling, make sure you give your customer a full view of it, okay? It'll actually prompt them to buy because they can see the full thing, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go to images, upload an image, and then um, we'll highlight these, hit open. We'll upload those couple that we missed. Uh, I believe it was just these two. Okay, and then we can rearrange these however we want to. And in Shopify, all you simply have to do is just um, drag and drop. So I'm just gonna put this one there and we're gonna replace all of those because I want those to be in order, okay? So we'll go like this, and then you can see the different angles of the helmet, okay? Um, and now, that's, I mean, that's pretty well it. I'll go through and I'll set my pricing um, and go through and set my weight, all my variants and stuff like that, okay? But that's basically what I do, guys, when it comes to importing projects, okay? Or products, I'm sorry. That literally took me, what, like maybe three minutes, okay? Oberlo and Shopify say is that you can do it, you know, in a minute. Doesn't matter, guys. Do quality work and you guys will attract quality buyers. Okay, keep that in mind. Quality work is quality buyers. Okay, I hope you guys got some value from this video. If you guys want to check out my Shopify store, uh, go to shopyouradventure.com. I'll actually put a link for you in the description below um, and you guys can check it out. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. If you got some good value out of it, give me a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because I put videos out just like this every single day. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.